Hi. Um, so my name is Lindsay Schiller, and I am the FSU Career Center Liaison to the College of Fine Arts and Music and the College of Music, both colleges. Um, but I'm here today with my good friend, Ashley Birch, and she is the Membership and Special Events Manager at the Valentine. Um, that's how we met and how we became friends. So I'm so excited to have her here today. Yeah. Um, so Ashley, since we're, we're looking at these as coffee break career conversations, like really quick to the point, let's hear about careers. Let's sidetrack from that for a moment and talk about your coffee mug that you brought with you. Um, so this is my coffee mug. Um, it is a humble Haven yoga coffee mug. Um, they're a hot yoga studio that I used to frequent before the pandemic <laughs> and have not since, but um, they're my favorite place. Still my favorite mug too. Huzzah. Um, so this is fun. I brought the Frida Kahlo mug that I told you I would buy you at some point. So <laughs> you'll get a matching one of these eventually, but yeah. So my coffee today is out of the Frida Kahlo mug that I will also get for you. <laughs> Love it. But here we are. Um, so, so we can all see each other better. Um, so first off, Ashley, can you tell me what is the Valentine and what does the membership and special events manager, AKU, what do they do? Sure. So the Valentine is a small museum in the heart of downtown Richmond, Virginia. Um, it is comprised of, well, its mission is um, to preserve, interpret, um, and conserve uh, Richmond history, uh, past, present, future. So, um, and then, sorry, what was the second part of the question? No, no, you're good. So tell me about your day-to-day, -day, like what, what are your responsibilities in your role? Sure, sorry, I'm distracted by the glare on my glasses. Um, so my job as membership and special events manager um, before the pandemic was to plan all of the um, mem like museum specific events. So gallery openings, happy hours, donor events, um, our concert series that we would have um, and things like that. Um, recently, um, since the summer, my special events have really just gone virtual. So I've coordinated um, virtual Valentine events where we have either guest speakers um, or we have just our director, someone from our staff um, talk on a specific subject. Uh, those have been pretty well attended. Uh, we had one this past Wednesday with um, a rabbi from Richmond um, to talk with our director about uh, religious freedom uh, in 2020 and 2021. Um, a super important topic with everything going on in the world today. So I'm glad the Valentine is open to those conversations. Yeah, it was a great conversation. Um, and then the membership side of it, um, I think is kind of self-explanatory. Um, I oversee all of the memberships um, to the Valentine in our membership program um, and constituency. I also um, do the fundraising bit of it uh, with donors up to about a thousand dollars or so. Yeah, I know. I've I've made a sm small donations in the past to the Valentine. We're not quite at the thousand dollar <laughs> role yet, um, but. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. Can you talk about kind of your background and how you got that role educationally and like your kind of early jobs before you were in the position you're in now? Sure. So um, I have a art history degree from James Madison University um, and uh, my minor was writing and technical communication and my first job out of college uh, that had that had anything to do with that was um, working at the Valentine part-time um, at the front desk. So I was part of our visitor services team 
where I met you. And um, for those who don't know, um, Lindsay and I would basically, we, our main job was to man the front desk and um, check people in and sell memberships, but we also had to give tours of our historic home on the property, which is um, an 1812, um, I guess, mansion is what you would call it, um, that was lived in, owned by, built for John Wickham and his family. Um, at the time, he was the richest man in, in Richmond, and he was a lawyer, and he was Aaron Burr's lawyer in his trial for treason um, when he just tried to create his own country um, casually. Um, and, uh, and then, of course, you know, regular um, visitor services duties, such as um, sell things in the store, keep the short store up to date, open clothes duties, and, and things like that. Um, I then got a second part-time job at our uh, Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, uh, at also in visitor services, doing very similar things, uh, no tours given though. Uh, mostly it was just selling memberships and tickets all day. Uh, but that gave me a great um, kind of, you know, look into the differences between history museums and art museums, for sure. Um, and after about 10 months or so working part-time at the Valentine, I um, applied for a position that opened in development and um, have been there since for six years as of six years full-time in development since, uh, let's see, March of this year. Would you say that it's pretty common or was it just an anomaly that you kind of started at the Valentine and worked your way up? Or do you feel like you were just at the right place at the right time? Uh, both. I feel like in the museum world, um, it's a very common story for people to um, have started at their institution part-time, whether that's an internship, a volunteer or um, paid part-time. Um, and work their way up. Um, however, we are a full-time staff of only 17-ish right now. Um, and so part-time or part-time to full-time uh, does happen, but um, not as often as it would at say the VMFA, which has hundreds of employees. Mm -hmm. So um, kind of both. Yeah. Kind of both, yes. I was going to say, um, so thinking about kind of your college experience and, you know, where you are now, what advice would you give to FSU students or any students um, looking to work in arts admin or the museum field? Sure. So um, just going back to the last thing I said, it's like, just try to get your toe in somewhere, get your foot in the door somewhere by volunteering, you know, being a member, um, going to these events, just getting familiar with the institution um, and just kind of being in that space so that you can have these opportunities to network if possible. Um, I first went, was like the first time I ever set foot in the Valentine was for my cousin's wedding. <laughs> Um, she got married at the Valentine, and um, I went on a Wickham House tour. I was very interested and asked a bunch of questions, so I was able to bring that into my um, interview and all this good stuff, but um, definitely um, keep your options open. Be open to maybe something you wanted to do. You know, you might find that I didn't think I was going to go into development, um, but then I realized that I have a lot of um, background in retail customer service, and that really helps me um, on a daily basis with my job, for sure. Uh, fundraising for the museum. Thank you. That's great. Um, I, I definitely agree with you. I think if I had stayed in Richmond, you know, the world goes on. If I had stayed in Richmond, maybe I would have eventually worked up from an art guard to something else. I guarded art and told people not to touch it while I was also working part-time with Ashley at the Valentine. 
Um, so yeah, I, I would definitely say moral of the story is you have to get experience somewhere. Um, always ask your supervisors for more experience. If you're interested in something, ask it. Um, I would um, have visitor services staff ask me if they could get experience with things in development. So I would bring them on and show them how to use our database and stuff so that they could then put their um, experience on the resume and go on and find a job somewhere. So, so it never hurts to ask. Yay. Um, closing thoughts from you. Closing thoughts from me um, about just mu museum work. Whatever, whatever you feel under the sun. Um, I am honored to be your guest on your um, new series. Is this your series? We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, no, I, I appreciate it. Of course, I had to ask you. Honor that you thought of me. Um, museums are wonderful places. Uh, they are not without their faults, just like any other institution that you could work for. Um, but that just means that we need our the best people there to um, advocate for best practices every day. So um, if that feels like something um, close to your heart, I would definitely recommend, um, you know, the museum field. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ashley. Um, and it was a pleasure to have you today. Um, so yeah, come back. Hopefully we'll be interviewing more employers in the future, but this is the Valentine Museum with Ashley Birch. Um, located in Richmond, Virginia. It's a great little history museum and I recommend checking it out. Thanks, Lindsay.